Hey everyone, it's Michael and I teach you how to learn Spanish in 12 months or less. So today we're going to talk about how to fake knowing Spanish. Uh, the dark side of the force of knowing how to, to speak Spanish. I'm going to give you three different tips today. Um, these are how to say your advanced phrase, uh, know your beginning phrases, I don't know why there's quotation marks in that, and don't fake it, you got what it takes. So how to fake knowing Spanish. Number one, know your advanced phrase. Came up with this one because at my work I have Latino colleagues who will sometimes sense, like, like I say Latino instead of Latino, they'll sense a little something in there that will be like, oh, do you know Spanish? And all I will have to say to convince someone that I know Spanish, looking how I look where you're like, mm, he probably doesn't know Spanish, is like one phrase where I'll, I will say, for example, si lo supiera, no te hablaría en español, o no te lo hablaría igualmente. And, they'll, and after that, I will switch immediately to English and I won't speak English for the rest of the day with them. They'll be like, oh my gosh, you definitely, you're completely fluent in Spanish. And like, yes, I just did kind of a harder phrase, right? There's a lot of conjugations in there and I did with a perfect Spanish accent. But the whole thing is that I could have said a different uh, phrase and I could have said it with an American accent and I would have still gotten that recognition because people don't memorize advanced phrases like that for that exact like moment. So just by coming up with an advanced phrase, uh, you could say something like, I don't know. Uh, si, sí, lo estudié durante 10 años. Oh, sh and then you just go straight to English. It's like, whoa, 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 what? Like, it's pretty crazy. So that's one way you can do it. Uh, two is know your beginning phrases. So in Spanish, this is what I teach in my Spanish program. We're always saying the same things, basically. Like, como estas? How are you? How you been? Good. How was your day? Oh, I did this. Where are you from? This, 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 and that. As long as you start to know those different paths that you usually take, just like this advanced phrase where you can use it whenever you want, um, you will appear to know more. So even if you don't know the subjunctive, the conditional, as long as you can say those beginning phrases, it will show that you're at least at a medium level. That's why... Um, <laughs> I've taught people that did college uh, Spanish or university Spanish, and they've learned all of it, but they can barely speak with me because they haven't been practicing their speaking. All they've been doing is they're studying. Yet I'll go with someone that's been in Puerto Rico or Colombia for six months, has never studied Spanish, but they're just blabbling away in Spanish because they know all those begin For those six months, they were just learning those beginning phrases. Hola, como estas? Da, 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 da. And they're like, well, I don't know how to use subjunctive, but I know how to have everyday conversations with someone at like a, a, a basic level. So they seem so much more advanced than these other people who don't know these beginning phrases, who don't know like, don't have a good base level that like know all about the subjunctive and how to write essays. It's just such an inverse mix. Like know your basic, basic Spanish and you will appear to know more than you do. And my third point is don't fake it till you make it know it like seriously that's why in the beginning of every single video i have i say i teach you how to become fluent spanish in 12 months or less this is because it's absolutely possible i've done it with other people like you can do it if you just apply yourself you can learn spanish before you know it i know that in school you probably tried it and i know you've probably tried different duolingo pimsler all these different ones and it hasn't worked if you get a good program and you actually try you can learn Spanish. Now, listen, it's not gonna be, in, in one year, are you gonna sound like you're from Mexico, from Argentina, from Spain? No, most likely it's not. But is it okay to get 70% of the way there or even 50% of, of the way there? Absolutely. I think in today's society right now, I hate that phrase, in today's society, we're gonna scratch that out. But I think a lot of people today think in very binary terms. If I can't make a million dollars this year, I don't wanna make any. What about 700,000? Uh, I want a million. It's like, what about 500,000? Uh, I make $15 an hour right now and I want to make 30. Well, what if you just made 17 or 18 and you just got a bump of like two or $3? No, 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 I either want it all or nothing. And it's like, that's such a bad way to look at things because it's not either you don't know Spanish or you're fluent in Spanish. There's a lot of a scale in there. You can be advanced uh, beginner, you can be medium, you could be advanced, you could be expert. Like between those different levels, you have so much room to play with. Like if someone's a medium in Spanish, like you're no longer a beginner. For most people, for the most common person who doesn't know Spanish, you're basically advanced. You're just not advanced to fluent speakers, but you can probably still speak a lot. So like, for example, if in a year, instead of becoming an expert, you were like, uh, 
you were at mid-level range, like that'd be amazing. That means you're having conversations with people. Yeah, it's not perfect. And sometimes you have to ask for like different words. And sometimes you're like, ah, I'm getting very frustrated. And you try to switch to English, but it's really good compared to where you're at, which is zero. So getting 1% better every single day in something is better than remaining at zero. Those are my tips. Let me know if you have any questions on learning Spanish or any topics that I talk about on my channel. You can comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.